of Quarantine Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for me and Roboco chapter 69. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And I'm just on a non-stop high-speed struggle train heading into chaos and ugh. It's getting faster by the second. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking, feel free to hit up my Cash App and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So, fam, I have so many questions about what the fuck is going on at Shueisha. I do, for multiple reasons, but goddamn. Last chapter really made me... <laughs> Made me question even more what the fuck is going on at the editorial department at Shueisha. Like, it was a real bloodbath last chapter. I mean, we've already seen, like, the labor mines and shit going on in the basements or whatever underneath Shueisha. But damn. Damn. Seriously, is this what's really going on at Shueisha? I, I need to know. I need to know, because I would explain a lot, I swear. Anyway, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. Today is bento day. Did everybody bring their bento lunches? Yes, we did. Once for semester, um, Bermuda Elementary School has a bento day. The students' excitement over getting to eat their favorite foods at school made for a festive atmosphere that rivaled any of uh, uh, the other big events of the school year. But one week earlier... Um, I want to have, uh, oh my god, Robico. Nineties kids. Well, you know what? I'm going to say eighties and nineties kids. This, this, this got to give you some flashbacks, man. This flat top, man. I'm not gonna lie, the first thing that comes to mind is MC Hammer. <laughs> you can't touch this! You can't touch Romico! No! I want Master to have the best bento ever in order to make um, the best bento day, um, bento for Banda that she possibly could. Romico had been training at a sushi restaurant. Okay, let's go. And this chapter is titled Bento and Robico. I was treated like junk and tossed aside no matter where I went. Master was the first person to take me in and really accept me, so I want to surprise him with, um, uh, looking cute as always, Robico. Uh, Robico, head chef, um, of Gainsha. Uh, yes, chef? Uh, apprentice sushi chef Robico. The dishes are still dirty. Uh, do them again. Yes, chef? Cuisine is about sincerity. A cook who doesn't take care of his tools will never amount to anything. Understand? Yes, chef. So, what can I get you? The hell you say? Dishwashing first. You got ten years before you're serving anyone anything. Yes, chef. Here you go. You got some nerve. I don't need not to serve anything. What is this? <laughs> what the What is this? Firefly squid um, between shards of a broken dish and jo covered in salt. Um, enjoy. This isn't even edible! Get back to washing dishes! Arg! Uh, listen, Robico, yes, chef? Normally, I'd never take on an apprentice for just one week of training, but when a woman shows up with a flat-top haircut, well, you seem so committed, so I let you in! But there's an order to these things. I can't let a novice like you jump right into cooking. It's okay, chef. I got someone special, um, uh, to me I'm pulling for. Heck, if I'm short on time, I'll do double the work. I promise I got more guts than anyone. Robico! On that note, here you go. The hell you say? You got some nerve. What is this? A shrimp wrapped in... Oh my god, what? Shrimp wrapped in jump and uh, boiled, served on mushrooms. Give it a smack and enjoy. Give it a smack. Why would you do that? What did, what did Shueisha do to you, my dude? You can't just do this in a week. No one can. There's no shame in saying you can't do it. L let this go. If all you want is to make something tasty, a hamburg steak or a curry will do fine. You don't have to make sushi. Oh my god, I really want sushi. Oh, I haven't had sushi in so long. I hate being poor. Um, making something tasty ain't enough. Sushi is my faster's favorite, see? I've just got to give him uh, Gensha sushi on a special day. He looks so happy when he's eating it. Being able to make some uh, someone that happy is an amazing thing. So it can't just be something tasty. I've just got to give my master sushi from this very place. 
Well, I understand where you're coming from, but I can allow any exceptions on my watch. Shep, um, on the other hand, if I'm not watching, how would I know what you're doing? For example, from the time the shop closes until morning, I'm not at the counter. So if someone were to sneak in and practice on the leftovers, you follow? <gasps> Shep is bomb. Not really. I'm saying you could come in and make sushi at night. Ooh, I'll even taste what you come up with, so do your best. Yes, Chef. For the next week, Roboco practice um, like a fiend. And under uh, the tutelage of Sabu, a fellow apprentice, she steadily improved. The day before Bento Day. Here you go. Oh, yeah. Mealy Man Sushi. Yes. It's done. I want Mealy Man Sushi. Chef, if you would, let's see here. Oh, no. Um, the vinegar's too strong, and there's too much rice, so the fishy, vicious flavor gets lost. The basic preparation is sloppy, too, and the presentation's a mess, but heck, it does taste like our sushi. Um, getting this good in just a week? I'm impressed. Thank you, Chef. Way to go, big sis. Sis? But if this is the best I can do, I might as well just give him some store-bought sushi in his bento. I gotta aim higher. You're gonna need better ingredients. Um, part of being a cook is getting great ingredients. Uh, better ingredients. Um, I've only got a day left, which means I should spend it hunting a special sushi ingredient only I can get. Menu uh, one. Oh, yeah, Manly Man Sushi. Oh, my God. The Bavaria Islands off the southern coast of the uh, barren uh, um, archipelago. Stand back, Nianta. What the fuck are you doing, woman? What is this? I thought we were after sushi ingredients. At this rate, we're going to become the ingredient. Wow! And this is a, a Garara Gator, 300-year-old reptile, capture level 8 estimate. <laughs> what the fuck is this, Monster Hunter? It's been a long time since someone picked a fight with me. Uh, yeah! Oop. It's fine. Yeah? I thought I'd, I'd try to bring it in alive, so I got a little careless, that's all. Yon, yon, yon? Really? Yon! Oh my god, Roboco got eaten. I'm okay. Uh, yon? Um, I'm speaking directly into your mind, uh, Nyanta. Yon? Can I ask you one favor, Nyanta? Yon? Tell the master I was brave. Yon? Okay, this is no time for jokes. Um, if I don't hurry, I'm not going to have time to make the bento. Just wait for me, master. I'll finish this thing off, uh, get its meat, and make you the best oh yeah, oh yeah, manly man sushi ever. The next day, I'm home. Oh my, what happened to you? What the fuck just happened? Oh, um, yeah, I ended up like this after I ate my lunch. I dominated fifth period. Goodness, how nice. Any, um, anyway, what was the meat in that incredible sushi? Once I ate it, my cells were just bursting with power. Oh, Roboco made that for you. She trained to be able to make your favorite food. Roboco, thanks, Roboco. Uh, your bento was really... Aw, Roboco. <laughs> Thanks, Roboco. Dude, woman! Was there roids or something up in that sushi? Oh, man. Man. What was the fuck was up in that sushi? I have many questions, but yes, it's definitely, uh, uh, oh, I will say this. It's definitely, um, the taste of the sushi, the quality of the sushi, and, you know, everything in regards to the sushi all depends on the quality of the ingredients. This is why, if you want good sushi, if you're in the States, you go to San Francisco. Yes. San Francisco has some of the Best fucking sushi. Holy shit. I love, love sushi from San Francisco. Oh my God. If you got the, you got to go to Japantown though. Japantown, um, there, I can't remember the place off the top of my head, but there's a place in Japantown where you get, go to that has like some of the best fucking sushi. And I love, I remember, um, uh, I think it was the first time I had sushi ever. My ex took me. Uh, he took me on a date in San Francisco and, um, and he took me to a sushi place. I can't remember the name. Um, I don't think, I don't, yeah, was it in Japantown or was it outside Japantown? Or it was, 
I think it was like the first time I had sushi. It wasn't in Japantown. I, I, I have had sushi in Japantown. It was the best fucking place. But I had it in San Francisco and it was like near, um, I think it was near the pier. And it was just, it was the best fucking sushi I've ever had. Oh my God. It was so good. I'll never forget that. I, don't, I can't believe I, the name is just escaping me. But goddamn. And yes, I love my Philly rolls and I love my salmon rolls. Oh my God. Ah, I, love my, I haven't had sushi in so long. I miss sushi. I miss it so much. But I'm poor. Ugh. I hate being poor. Ugh. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys uh, thought of this chapter. Um, and... Can you relate? Do you want one of those, oh yeah, Manly Man Sushi or Manly Man Bentos? Yes! Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerding and Zinc. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive and kick it so I can keep bringing you more Roboco content. There's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, Friendly, and PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.